It's January 2019 and I'm starting the year off right by sharing with you my very first ever mega haul. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I'm Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney, Universal, and Florida has to offer plus size people. And today, I'm bringing you my sort of post-holiday haul. It's a mega haul. And I call it that because I'm covering a bunch of different brands, from Walmart to Torrid, HSN, and even Shop Disney. Now, this haul, this video, is not sponsored by any particular company. I haven't been compensated or paid to do any reviews of any products. However, I am an affiliate of Torrid, and there may be some Torrid links down below in the description. If you click on any of those links and shop using them, a small commission will be paid to Pammy Plus Parks. Before we get too deep into cracking open these packages and opening them, let me share a little information about myself and my sizing that may help you decide whether or not these items would work for you. I'm five feet four inches tall, I weigh 350 pounds, and I wear US women's sizes 28, 30, and 32, as well as 3X, 4X, and 5X. All right, now it is time to crack open some of these bags and these boxes and share these items with you. So this item came from hsn.com, and um, I saw it last year and I just had to have it because it is related to my very favorite princess. It is a Snow White crossbody bag from Danielle Nicole. Let's have a look. Oh look, it's got the Disney Danielle Nicole tag on it. And it retailed at $68. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? Oh my god. Gosh, look at the detail on this bag. It's amazing. There's this really nice zipper with the Danielle Nicole toggle. There's not a ton of room in here. It's a smaller bag, but it is deep enough and large enough that I could actually put my vlogging camera in here if I wanted to. The crossbody portion is a beautiful silver tone chain. Let's take a really close look at the details on this. You see that this is almost like an ostrich skin style leather that's used here, and little gold dots have been painted on each of the bumps. Now I say ostrich skin style because the Danielle Nicole line is constructed from products that are um, cruelty free, so no animal skins are actually used in these bags. And if you look very closely, all of her lips and everything, her eyes, this is all embroidered on. Her eyebrows are all embroidered on. There's this beautiful sort of a glitter fabric for her bow that carries over onto the back, so that details on the back as well. And there's another sort of a, a dark blue snakeskin sort of a, a, a feel here to this, and a black and red striping here. So this is really a really gorgeous bag. In fact, I cannot wait to wear this when I do a little Disney bounding. Um, I can maybe go use this bag when I'm going on a date with Mark and in a Disney bounding Snow White outfit. It's beautiful, I love it. Okay, as you can see, this Danielle Nicole crossbody bag does not work as a crossbody bag on a plus size person, but that's okay. It can still be worn as a shoulder bag. I think it's really, really cute. Um, it looks like I could just even tuck the strap into the bag and carry it as a clutch. The bag definitely works really well as a clutch and I think I'm gonna enjoy using it on date nights with Mark. I really love it, it's so adorable. So this next package is also a gift all the way from Alaska. My friends Sherry and Adam Legg gifted me a handbag. So Adam and Sherry did a video on their channel, Leg Life, which I hope you guys will go visit. I will put a link down in the description down below. They had um, received one of those Disney uh, subscription boxes that had a lot of different things that came to them from the Disney parks. And one of them was a bag. And Sherry, she was like, yeah, it's nice. I don't like it that much. And I had written in the comments how much I love the bag. And they were awesome and amazing. And they offered to send the bag to me. So I'm super excited to open it up and see it in person because it is also a Snow White themed bag. 
naturally as a Snow White fan, I have more than one Snow White t-shirt, more than one Snow White outfit, and so of course I can always do with more than one Snow White bag. I am really excited about this. A wonderful gift. Oh, there's a card in here. <laughs> oh, look, they sent me a sticker. I love it. It says Leg Life Vlogs. Oh gosh, I hope you guys check them out. I can't wait to put the sticker on some of my vlogging stuff. Let's go ahead and open the card. Oh, it's a Christmas card. <laughs> Cheer, laughter, and love. Wishing you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a season filled with cheer, laughter, and love. Adam and Sherry Leg. Here they are. I love this picture of them. It's so, it's so like right on what their personalities are like. And they wrote, Pammy, we're glad we got to meet you this October. Enjoy the bag. Merry Christmas. Yay! I can't wait to see this. <gasps> oh yeah, this is great. Amazing. Look at this. It says, fairest of them all. And it's got the sword going through the heart. It's got a beautiful velvet texture. All of this is embroidered on here. This is fantastic. It's got sort of a, um, like a brass or like a bronze colored chain. I wonder if this is a crossbody bag as well. Ooh, this is really big inside. Okay, that's a really big spacious bag. That is great. It's got a little back wall pocket with a zipper. And the company label inside is Oh My Disney. So this is the brochure that came attached that says Oh My Disney. Really cool brochure. And it actually says on the back that it's from Shop Disney and the price is $29.95 in US dollars. As a plus size person, this crossbody bag is a little bit short, but it still works for me, I think. I love that this sort of tattoo style matches the tattoo style of this t-shirt. This is a t-shirt I got at Torrid a few years ago. It's no longer available, but you know, that speaks to the quality of Torrid stuff. It lasts for quite a while. But as you can see, I paired it up with a pair of red Dia and Company jeans. And I think it looks really great with the bag. I love this outfit. The next items that I'm gonna share with you actually came from Walmart. Um, Mark and I made a trip up to St. Augustine one day and while we were up there, we realized the weather was turning pretty cold and we needed to get warmer clothes. So we stopped off at a Walmart in St. Augustine and I thought, oh, they're not gonna have anything that fits me because they usually only carry up to like a 2X, sometimes a 3X in the Walmart stores near me. They weren't gonna have what I needed there. I usually wear like a 4X, sometimes a 5X. I, I really I thought I was gonna be stuck like Chuck but it turned out that Walmart pulled through in a way that surprised me big time Walmart has a line of clothes called Tara and Sky for plus-size people and the the prices are super reasonable being put in a situation where I had no choice but to see what I could find at Walmart I actually ended up finding some items that were really well priced and well made let me show you what I got up first are these jeans. These are actually, um, they're lab on the label they were called jeggings and they cost $15. So it was like $14.97, but $15. The label inside this says Tara and Sky 3X2426. Well, they didn't have a 4X or a 5X. The 3X was the best they had. A 2426 in my mind was definitely not gonna fit me. But I thought, there's no way I'm gonna fit in a size 26. Well, as it turns out, these jeggings are very generously fit. And it did say generous fit on the tag, but I just didn't believe it until I tried them on. And they actually fit me great. And I highly recommend them. I feel like they're pretty decent quality. Let me show you some of the design details that I really like. First, let's take a look at this waistband. As you can see, it's a wider waistband. Let's take a look at the inside here. It's folded over and stitched down on the waistband here. And you'll notice here too, um, this is an elastic waistband at the very top. And they've done some stitching right down the center of the piece of elastic that goes all the way around so that the elastic doesn't twist and turn inside the waistband. That makes it really, really comfortable and it's a great design feature. Now these do have front pockets that are attached on the front here. I don't know if you can see very closely, but you can kind of see the outline of sort of the J pocket 
outline on the front of the pants so if someone looks really closely they will be able to notice that you are wearing pull-on pants rather than regular jeans. There is also a fake placket on the front where the rise of the jeans is so that it will look like you are wearing regular jeans even though you aren't. I ended up wearing these jeans for about 10 or 12 hours on the day that I bought them and I found them to be so incredibly comfortable that I went out and bought another pair. <laughs> it took me a little while to track them down but I did find the same pair, the same style in a dark wash at another Walmart. Good job Walmart, these are fantastic. I love them. They're very comfortable. I highly recommend them for traveling, for flying on a plane. Um, I've worn them to Disney. I've worn them to other parks and attractions. And I've worn them on long car rides. I've worn them to work. They're great. I mean, I highly, highly recommend them. Get Pick up a couple pair if you can because, you know, they're just going to turn out to be a great staple in your wardrobe when you want to wear something comfy, but you still, but you don't want to look like you're wearing sweatpants. Speaking of wearing sweatpants, <laughs> on the same day that I bought these jeans, I had to buy a top that was warm and I found this sweatshirt also from Tara and Skye and it was $15. It was quite the find. I did not realize it was going to be so cute or so well made. Let's take a look at it. The label inside says 4X2830. I did try it on in a 3X. The 3X was more than generously fit, but the 4X was a little bit longer and I wanted a little bit more length on it. Um, this shirt has some of the cutest details ever. Let me show you. On the side at the bottom, you'll notice that there's like a little split opening here and you have that same ribbed style bottom, the rib style hem that's like two, maybe three inches wide that you would have on a sweatshirt, except it's um, it's loose, it's not binding. So it, it, it hangs loose around your hips and that little um, split on the side here, let me see if I can show you a little bit better here, the split on the side actually makes even more room for your hips even more ease of, of movement when you're traveling or when you're sitting on a plane or in a car. The sleeves on this are three quarter length sleeves and the opening of the bottom of the sleeve has that same generous ribbing that you see on the bottom of the sweatshirt. And it definitely has plenty of room for my chubby arms. Usually I find that the arms on sweatshirts and t-shirts and things are really tight. This is nice, generous fit on it. Um, it looks like it's a shorter sleeve because it's a drop shoulder. So the shoulder actually comes down here. So it actually would hit right about here on me. The end of the shoulder probably comes midway down my arm. It's very loose and it has kind of a very chic look to it. Now I liked that black sweatshirt so much that I ran right out as soon as I could after I wore it a time or two and got myself the same sweatshirt in another color. <laughs> this sort of Merlot burgundy color is really, really popular this year. It was last year too. And um, I've worn this a few times as well. I really, really like it. This is the perfect weight of sweatshirt material if you're doing something active because it's not too heavy. It's definitely not constrictive. I will mention to you the inside of it is not fleecy like you would have in a normal sweatshirt. It's more of a French terry, a very low pile French terry. So it's very soft against the skin. It has a very smooth surface on the fabric itself. It just drapes beautifully. It looks feminine. It looks chic. It's something I completely was not expecting from Walmart and certainly not for $15. I will put links again down in the description for the sweatshirt and pants if I can find them on there for you because I'd love for you guys to try these out. Don't be a fashion snob. Try things that are less expensive. Try things from Walmart. Try things from stores you wouldn't normally try because you never know what you will find out. It's my favorite new comfy outfit. It's this sweatshirt which I think has a little bit more style than your average sweatshirt. It looks a little more chic, a little more well-designed, a little more put together. And then of course, these pull-on denim jeggings. Although they look snug through here, they're super, super stretchy and super comfortable. They have these nice deep pockets in the front, a nice wide waistband to keep them in place, and they have good coverage in the back. The only thing they don't have, no back pockets. 
That's why I think it's a good idea if you're gonna wear these that you wear a longer shirt that covers your entire back so people can't see that you don't have pockets because when you don't have pockets, it's a dead giveaway that you're wearing pull-on pants. And not everyone wants to be seen as wearing pull-on pants when they're at work or someplace fancy. What I did to make this outfit a little more work-friendly and a little less casual was take the ends of a very long scarf, put them together, throw that around my neck, you could just leave it like this as a very long scarf or kind of make it like an infinity scarf. Zhuzh it out a little bit, get it laying just the right way, however you want it to look, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little fuller. But having a nicer print scarf on with this and maybe like some cute flats or a a pair of booties that's gonna elevate the look a little bit if you like a little bit longer of a look with an infinity scarf kind of look you can tie all four ends together and kind of drape it like this so you can see more of the print it's gonna draw your eye down a little more and it's a little more elongating and slimming and it's a little classier fancier looking now if you're wondering where I got this scarf I bought it for about five dollars at Target on clearance in the middle of summer about five years ago the next item I have to share with you is also an accessory. Clearly this is not a pair of pants or shoes or a top. <laughs> and it's a very unique one and it's very Disney and I think you guys are gonna like it. Oh, I see it. It's magnificent. Do you guys recognize this character here from the Mary Poppins movies? Oh yeah, here it comes. For the recent release of Mary Poppins Returns, HSN partnered with Disney to help create some products that were inspired by the movie. And one of those things was, of course, an umbrella. And this umbrella, let's take a look. This umbrella comes with a, looks like a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, there it is. And a uh, little seal of authenticity for Mary Poppins Returns. The handle of this umbrella is cast from the same molds that were used to create the umbrellas for the Mary Poppins movies. So this is meticulously crafted <laughs> to match it. Let's have a really close look at this. Okay, as you can see, the eyes are painted by hand. There's gold trim on there. Take a look at all the details of the carving. Right down here, there's gold detail here too. This is really beautiful. This looks exactly like the prop in the film. You can even see like the wood grain look in the body of the parrot and in his head. One of the other neat things about this umbrella is it comes with a carry bag. So this bag slips right on the umbrella and it has a handle that you can use as, as like kind of cross body across your body. Oh, check out these colors. Oh, that's so beautiful. One of the reasons why I wanted this umbrella was specifically because of this carry bag, because it will allow me to sling it across my back and carry it cross body and carry it in the parks on rainy days. You might be wondering why the fastener, and it looks like the little tines, the little ends here at the bottom of the umbrella rather than at the top. And that's because this is an inverted umbrella. So it opens backwards and it's kind of an interesting feature. It looks like we have a little button here that we press and the button has like a gem sort of a shape to it. It's really cool. And it just pops, ooh, it pops open like that. The umbrella actually has kind of like a two part design. It is a pink umbrella on the outside and on the inside you have these beautiful colors. So it's almost like a double protection against rain. And the great thing about it opening in an inverted style like this is that when you go to get in your car and you pull your umbrella shut and you're pulling it shut as you get in your car, none of the water gets on you. And also the roof of your car doesn't get scraped up by the metal things on the end of the umbrella. So it actually is a pretty cool design. This reinforced design also makes it really hard for the umbrella to turn inside out in high winds. It's, um, this particular umbrella is also a 48 inch umbrella, which means it's a lot bigger and it's gonna be more protective of me and my gear that I carry. And I also love these bright colors. So many umbrellas that are out there that are like high quality, well-made umbrellas like this are just plain black. And as a vlogger, if you're having to carry an umbrella and having that plain black background behind you and plain black colors hanging over you can be 
I don't know, kind of boring to look at and kind of make you look sort of pale and washed out. But these beautiful colors, I actually can't wait till it rains. <laughs> I can't wait to vlog in the rain with this umbrella. It's gonna be amazing. So you guys can look forward to seeing this umbrella in future vlogs. All right, up next I have a package, a big package from Torrid of some items that Mark got me as Christmas gifts. They were having a huge pre-Thanksgiving sale and I went ahead and took advantage of that. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm never sure the best way to open one of these bags, so I always just cut them. Maybe that's not the cool way of doing it, but it works for me. <laughs> If you guys watched my Disney Springs shopping series, you know that I went to World of Disney and I found a Star Wars t-shirt there that I liked, but it wasn't quite right for me. And Mark really felt like I needed to have a Star Wars shirt. So he said, make sure you go to Torrid and find one you really like. And I did. It is a size five. I hope it's not too big. Usually I wear a size four, but they didn't have size four, so. I hope this will work for me. Let's have a look at it. Oh, I love it. It's like the classic Star Wars poster, Shadow of a Dark Lord. And it says at the bottom, the greatest space fantasy film of all. May the force be with you. I love it. It's got Darth Vader, Leia, Luke. You got some TIE fighters. I mean, what more could you ask for? You have these um, raglan sleeves in a medium gray color. It feels really soft a nice wide open neckline so I can wear my Star Wars jewelry with it and show that off. And it kind of looks like the sides here come up at a scoop at the side. So really with the side scoops on this and the raglan sleeves, this is very much a typical baseball style shirt. And I have a number of these and they look fantastic. I hope this one fits me as well as my other ones. I do have another top that's a 5X in this raglan style. It's a little roomy, but it's still wearable, and I hope this one will be too. I'm excited to try this on. I love my new Star Wars shirt. I did get this in a 5, and I do normally wear a 4 in a raglan style shirt from Torrid. And you can see there is a lot of extra room in the arms, but that's okay. I can always just you know, roll these up nicely to kind of make them a little more three quarter and just make sure I put it in the dryer every now and then to shrink it up a little. But I'm happy with the way it drapes through the body and the neckline is still really good. But if it ever does get kind of baggy, again, I'll just put it in the dryer and kind of shrink it up a little bit. But I think it looks really great. I can definitely wear this top with leggings because it's long enough, it covers the front and the back and I'd feel comfortable with that. Look at this fabulous graphic. I just absolutely adore it. This is very comfortable. And yeah, it is kind of roomy in the sleeves, but you know what? I'm so used to wearing things tight in the sleeves that it'll kind of be a relief. <laughs> I know this is crazy because normally I would wear a shirt like this with jeans or with shorts, but I really like the red pants, the red jeans with it. I think it brings out the red logo. What do you guys think? The next item from Torrid is a pair of jeans. And I'm really, really nervous about it because I've never tried on Torrid's jeans before because they don't carry past a size 26 in the Torrid stores near me. Before I start showing you any of the details, let me tell you how much they were. These are classic skinny jeans in a dark wash, size 30. It looks like they were originally, well, the original price isn't on the tag, but I think it was something like around 40 or $50 for these jeans originally. But what I paid for them on sale was $20.49. Score. Let's have a look at some of the design features on these jeans. It looks like it's not too terribly long. It looks like the legs aren't too, too skinny, even though they are skinny jeans. Okay, just to show you, it does say that it's a 30 short. I got these in short because I have very short legs. Even though I'm 5'4", um, I have like the legs of somebody who is about five feet tall. So I don't know, you know, even though the bottom doesn't look that skinny, the thighs look really small, but there's a ton of stretch in this fabric. So maybe they'll work for me. I don't know, but they're definitely truly a pair of skinny jeans. They look like they're probably some of the smallest jeans I have in my home right now, and I'm a little bit nervous about trying them on. I'm hoping the stretch works out really well. The fabric in this is 79% cotton, 19% polyester, and 2% spandex. So not too much spandex. So they're not gonna lose their shape. 
Oh, I hope these work. Now, because I got such a great price on these jeans, I can't return them. It was one of those sales where, you know, once you buy it, that's it, you can't take them back. So I really do hope they work. You guys, I am shocked by these jeans. I am so excited about them. I was really worried that these jeans wouldn't fit me. Um, they are perfect. They are the perfect fit. They taper perfectly in the legs. They're not too tight around the calves or the thighs. There's a little bit of fabric here for room. The waistband is super comfortable. They seem to look pretty good from behind. They hug the curve of my back, nothing showing. They're not too low. They're nice and smooth. I don't know, you know, so many of you have told me on Pammy Plus Parks Facebook group how much you love the jeans from Torrid and I think you may have another believer. The only thing I'm not thrilled about with these jeans, the pockets are super shallow, like they're only this deep. So you can't really put anything more than maybe a pen in there. You can't put your cell phone in there. You'll definitely have to put it in your back pocket. But otherwise, they're super comfortable. I love them. Okay, the last present I got from Mark in this sale haul that I did right around Thanksgiving is this t-shirt. And I'm very excited to show it to you. Let's have a look. You might be able to see here what it says. Let's see if I can surprise you. All right, are you guys ready? Gryffindor. Yeah, it's my first Harry Potter clothing items. I am a big Harry Potter fan. Mark and I watch the movies constantly. Um, we've read the books, you know, we're pretty big fans. And I have never been to Universal Studios at a time when the Harry Potter stuff was out. The last time I went to Universal Studios was maybe 20, 22 years ago. So I am excited about wearing this shirt to Universal Studios. And if you guys don't already know, thanks to the generous contributions of the viewers of Pammy Plus Parks and the Pammy Plus Parks Facebook group members, um, contributions that you guys made helped make it possible for me to buy annual passes for Universal Studios and I'll be picking those passes up in late January and I'll be wearing this shirt. <laughs> so when I took the Pottermore test I came up as a Gryffindor even though I thought I would be like I was kind of hoping for Slytherin <laughs> and everyone I told that to said I was crazy because there's no way I would be a Slytherin I was absolutely Gryffindor. I personally think every hero has a little Slytherin and every villain has a little Gryffindor. All right, let's take a look at this shirt. So this is more like a football style jersey. And if you're familiar with those, you know that they are generally a V-neck like this one is. And they generally have this double seam across the top of the chest above the bust line. And um, you'll have sleeves like this one does with the two stripes on it. I really love this beautiful, rich burgundy color and the contrast of the white stripes and this great gold print on the front and it looks distressed and it looks like it's a bit vintage and I'm sure that the more I wear this it's going to get more and more vintage looking and I'm sure after several dozen washings this rich burgundy color will fade and it will really look like I am a Gryffindor alumnus. I did get this in a size 5 so we'll see how it looks. Um, I know a lot of times when there's like piping like this on the sleeves like this one has they, the sleeves can be a little tighter and a little more uncomfortable for me so I figured it would be better to go up a size. When I wear this during the hot summer months I'd almost rather have a shirt that's a little loose rather than one that's a little too tight but I'm super excited to try this on and I can't wait to wear it to Universal Studios. I'm very excited. Oh I almost forgot to mention the price on this. This shirt the is uh, $38.90 and it is, and I bought it on sale for $23.34. So I know a lot of people complain that um, Torrid clothing is really expensive, but if you're buying something like this in the park, um, whether it's a Disney shirt or it's a Universal shirt, it's hard to find the larger sizes. And when you do, the shirts, the t-shirts are like 36, 38, 40, 44 dollars for a t-shirt. Um, the prices and Torrid are a little bit cheaper. They're up to $10 cheaper than you would see in the park. And then you can get it on sale like I did. This was $23.34. You're definitely not going to find $23.34 in any theme park for a t-shirt. It's just, I mean, you might see two 
If you buy two, you get each one for $20, but for the most part, most of the shirts are at least $25 and up. So this is a pretty good price. I'm pretty happy with the sale. Look at this shirt. I absolutely love it. It is super comfortable. I was worried the sleeves might be tight. They are perfect. I love the V-neck. It's not too high. It's not too low. There's plenty of good room and drape in this top. And because it's nice and long in the front and in the back, I can wear this with leggings. So it is a win. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear this shirt to Universal the first time I go there to vlog. The next item I purchased is this absolutely cute blouse. I love it. It's very sheer and it did not come with a lining, but I do have lots of tank tops. You can see it's very, very sheer. I love the little star print on it. I love this dark, rich burgundy color. And I did get this in a five. This blouse is kind of big on me, but they, I couldn't find it in a four. It was on the clearance rack and I just felt I had to have it, so I went for it. Let me show you some of the design details. I do feel like when you have a blouse like this that's a little bigger, it is a blousey blouse. And I, I feel like it's okay if it's a size too big because it's supposed to be blousey. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's this really beautiful pin tucking here. And I have three other blouses from Torrid that have similar pin tucking like this. And when you hang it to dry, it dries flat and beautiful. And those tops look brand new after years of wearing. So I know this one will wear very well as well. The other thing I really liked about this sleeve, which is a three quarter sleeve, is this beautiful flouncy hem on the end of the sleeve. It's very feminine. And you'll notice that same pin tucking is on the back of the top. It's not as much of it. It's a little bit higher up on the back of the neckline of the shirt, but it is still there. And I do love that little extra style detail. The original price of this top is $44.90 and the sale price was $33.98. I think this blouse has turned out to be one of my top favorite items out of the entire haul. I know I'll be able to wear this throughout the entire spring and summer and be very comfy in it because it is so lightweight and so loose. Yeah, I just really like it. I mean, maybe it is a size too big, but you know, I'm fine with that. I like the blousiness. It feels like it fits really good in the arms and it drapes really well. I think the type of fabric, the way that it's draped and the pin tucking kind of keep the volume of the blouse in check and it doesn't look overly huge on me. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy wearing this. Yes, I got some magic in the mail from Shop Disney and this is a very, very special gift that I was so grateful to receive, so excited to receive, and I'm so excited about opening it. I didn't want to just open it on my own, even though it was a gift to me. I wanted to share it with you guys. The person who gave me this gift is Amy Jones, and she is a loyal viewer of Pammy Plus Parks and a loyal member of the Pammy Plus Parks Facebook group. So I am like so thrilled to open this. I think you guys who know me well and have been watching the channel really closely they already know what's inside of this bag. And it's something that I wanted super, super bad that I thought I would never be able to get. And I can't wait to dig into this. I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting open the bag. I'm gonna try not to cry because I'm so excited to open this. I'm doing this all wrong, but I don't care. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see a little bit of it. Okay, here it comes. Oh, yes! <laughs> can you guess what it is? Do you know what it is? Oh, I can't wait to show you. Yes! <laughs> it is the orange bird dress. Oh, I'm so excited. If you watched my Disney Spring shopping series and you saw the video that I covered the Cherry Tree Lane dress shop in, you know that this was one of the dresses that I tried on. And I was like, you know, it's not in my budget. It's just not something Mark and I are financially planning for right now. And any funds that I receive through Pammy Plus Parks, I really wanna invest back into the channel and give give everything I can to continuing to create the best quality videos for you guys that I possibly can. So there's no way I would have bought this for myself. <laughs> and I'm so grateful that Amy went ahead and did that for me because I am so in love with this dress. I cannot wait to show you all the design details that made me fall in love with it. But she didn't just get me the dress. I also got the matching sweater that goes with it. And there's some details to that that I want to show you as well. 
As you can see, it's got this beautiful pattern that features the orange bird and his little different poses and cute faces that he's making and lots of orange dots on a navy blue background. And I believe this is like a, a five or six panel dress. So there are several panels in this dress making the skirt very, very wide, very, very full. And you can put a crinoline under this if you want to but I don't know that I will. So you can see it's super, super full skirt, which means that when you twirl around, the skirt will give you a beautiful twirl. The fabric itself is a heavier fabric, which makes it a little stiffer and makes the skirt stand out a little more. There is a little tiny bit of stretch to the fabric, not a ton, but just a little bit of stretch. The Cherry Tree Lane Dress Shop and Shop Disney carry different styles of dresses, but most of the Disney Parks dresses have a very similar sort of style to them. So you'll see a nice full skirt like that. You'll see a banded midsection, which kind of really gives you a nice defined waistline. And you'll see a ruching, sort of a ruched top with a sweetheart neckline and wide straps on it, just like this one has. You may even notice that there are pockets. There is a generously sized pocket on each side. This is actually big enough for me to slide my camera into, um, maybe lipstick. You could put all the things that you need for your day for the park inside the pockets of this dress if you needed to. Now, when you flip over the back of this dress and we look at the back of it, I wanna show you this darling detail. Look at this. It's an embroidered orange bird right on the back and I haven't really seen this detail on any of the other dresses. I just love it. One of the other things that's really neat about the dress is there is a sewn down elastic band across the back of the dress that has a great deal of stretch in it. The fabric in the banding around the back, the solid blue back on this, has a lot of stretch in it as well. That will make it kind of adjustable and more comfortable for women of many different bust sizes. Now this dress does zipper down the back um, all the way down past your rear end, but I can actually slip this over my head without unzipping it. Another great feature is that there's an adjustable strap. So you can actually take your straps down and make them a little tighter, which I think I'll do. There, voila. So the, sh the strap length should be perfect for this for me. This even comes with an extra button in case one of your buttons falls off. I am actually gonna try this dress on for you um, so you can see it again. I'm so excited to try it on. In addition to the gorgeous dress, Amy also got me the beautiful little sweater, shrug sweater that goes with it so it can be a complete outfit. And if you notice, this fantastic detail is this beautiful embroidered Cinderella's castle right on the front of the sweater. I just love that. This is truly a dream dress. I just absolutely love it. As you can see, it has that perfect swish and swirl. I love the comfy pockets. And of course, this little bolero shrug sweater is perfect with it and really sets the outfit off. Thank you again, Amy, so much for this gorgeous dress, this whole beautiful outfit. I'm super excited to wear it. I cannot wait to wear it to the special event that I have coming up this weekend. But it's gonna make the event even more special and even more enjoyable. Thank you. I also wanna mention this dress and the shrug are 3X. Whew. That was quite the haul, y'all. I was actually sweating. <laughs> Trying on clothes is hard work. You'd be surprised. But yeah, I love doing it. I love sharing all those hauls with you because it's like shopping with friends when I do that. So it's really cool. I don't often get the chance to shop with friends. I have so many friends who are average sized that we actually have to shop in different stores. So it's really nice to be able to shop with you guys because it's like shopping with people who are my own size, who get it, who have similar issues and challenges with fashions. And I love hearing your comments and feedback on the clothes. I'd love to know what your favorite pieces were and um, the pieces that you think you would like to have in your wardrobe too. As I mentioned before, I will try to put links to everything down below, but depending on whether or not things are on clearance or they've sold out, or when you're actually watching this video, the item you want may no longer be available, but you can still go to those different stores and look for something similar. Of the links that you visit down below, the only ones that I would earn any commission on are the toured ones and if you visit the Amazon storefront. Uh, Pammy Plus Parks does receive a small commission when you purchase anything using the Amazon storefront for Pammy Plus Parks or when you use any of my links down below for Torrid to purchase things on torrid.com. 
But even though I'm an affiliate of Torrid, the reason why I am an affiliate of Torrid is because I love the store and I've shopped there for many years and I have lots of great clothes from them. I also love that they carry sizes up to 30 and 32, that they have jeans and tops and dresses, hosiery, accessories, everything that are for plus size women in the most up-to-date styles. And that's something we all want in our lives. Thank you so much for shopping with me today. I hope that all of your shopping trips will be magical. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.